there is a new alternative of cursor in market or at least it is being considered as an alternative for cursor this is a native ai code editor that you can just install on your computer just like cursor and windsor the name of this ai code editor is coder coder with a q a bit weird name but it was launched by alibaba a chinese company if you are aware alibaba has also launched coin ai model which is probably one of the best and cheapest ai model out there to write code so we can expect some good results from coder so let's just go ahead and test this ai code editor and see if this ai code editor can beat cursor or windsurf or any other native ai code editor so before you start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well all right so to start using coders just go to coder.com q o d e r or just click on the link in description and after that you can simply just click on download there are other options to download you can download coder for mac if you're on mac or you can just download it for windows there is a free plan but i think you can try their pro plan for two weeks for free but their pro plan costs 20 dollars per month which is kind of similar to what cursor actually cost so i really hope that this ai code editor should perform at least better or at least like on that level of cursor because cursor is one of the best ai code editor out there right now so if this ai code editor wants to penetrate in market so it should perform better than cursor so here are some of the main features the first one is always select the best model so it automatically select the best model i think in most cases it will be using quen but i think i need more freedom here to choose between an ai model it also supports mcp servers so let's just download it install it and then see how it actually works so simply just click on this download button and install once installed this is how it will look like so this will be kind of like the interface that you'll see from the first look it looks very similar to cursor and windsurf and i think it is just another fork of vs code just like cursor windsurf and void but the overall theme also kind of gives a feeling of tray ai so if you don't know about tray ai so tray ai was launched by tiktok basically the parent company of tiktok which is called bytons so the main selling point of tray ai was its pricing because it allows you to use tray ai for three dollars so that was the main selling point and recently they have introduced some new features so i think tray ai is also kind of a good competitor here i have reviewed tray ai several times on this youtube channel so i understand how tray ai actually works so let's just see in coding performance if coder can actually beat tray ai or not because price wise tray ai is far cheaper than coder so let's just test it and see how it works by the way i'm going to use by the way as you can see i have already opened a project inside coder so i'm going to test this ai code editor on an existing project i'm not going to create a new project i'm going to test it on an existing project because whenever we create a new project it can for sure like go ahead and then like create some like basic infrastructure or like basic code but what i want this code editor to do is understand my existing code base and then add new functionalities so this is a project that i have just opened inside coder and it has already an authentication system that i created using clerk so you can see a fully functional authentication system i can log in with google it's a fully functional authentication system and once a user is logged in then user can access this dashboard so i got this dashboard in here and then i created this like a whole kind of a process of creating a new request and everything so this was just one of my side projects that i was creating using augment code so as you can see this project already has a functional authentication system it has a fully functional dashboard so let's just build a backend for this project so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to use neon.tech so if you don't know about neon.tech so neon.tech is just a platform where you can build a complete backend you can either use something like superbase but in my case i'm going to use neon.tech so i'm just going to log in using my account and now i'm just going to create a project i'll just name this project named so i have just named my project so i've just so i've just so i've just so i've just named my project so i've just so i've just so i've just created so i've just so i've and now i'm just going to click on create and now my project is created now the only thing that i need is this connection string so i can simply just click on this connection string and then i can just copy this connection string from here i will not show my password in here but yeah i can just like copy this connection string from here i can just go back to coder i can just like paste that connection string there is this quest mode as well we'll come to that at the end but for now let's just like test it with this connection string by the way we could use an mcp server as well so if you just go to the coder settings and from here if you just go to mcp servers and from here you can just like click on add and now you can just like add a neon.tech mcp server so you can just like copy this code from here then add your neon.tech api key and then you can just like copy it and paste it there but i want to test the capabilities of this ai code editor without any mcp server now well, let me just give it a simple prompt so this is the simple prompt that i'm going to give you are inside an xs project i want you to understand this project and now i want you to build a backend we are going to use neon.tech for the backend here is the connection string so i've just like provided my connection string in here and then i provide 
provided documentation as well so now it can just so now it can first understand the document and then integrate neon.tech using this connection string once done i'll simply just press enter and now let's just see how it works so right now you can see i'll help you to understand the project so right now you can see it is understanding your project it is understanding the overall development which was done so far so it is checking if there is already a prisma schema in there or not so so because prisma already exists so what it is going to do it is going to use prisma because we are building a postgres database so we need prisma so it has now created a to-do list for itself so first of all create dot env dot local file with neon database connection string and other environment variables update prisma schema configuration for neon.tech and then initialize the database schema using prisma seed the database with initial data test the database connection and api endpoints verify all the existing backend functionalities work with neon perfect so now it has created a complete to-do list for itself and it is asking me to run these commands one by one but i think it should just like automatically do it i don't know if there is any settings to let agent run all of the commands automatically because this is what we do in augment code because i am a regular user of augment code so i just like enable an auto mode and then just like it, it just keeps going so i think it doesn't have that in here so let's just wait for it to complete all of the steps and we'll cut back once everything is done okay one issue that it is having is related to prisma client and whenever it is trying to push that prisma schema that issue i face usually on my computer and then i have to like use a vpn for that so apparently the database push by prisma has been successful and now let's just run our project npm run dev and now let's just see what it has created if you see performance of coder so far has been good because the agent so far has been working for i think more than like 15 minutes so the performance has been good it did not stop any issues that it is facing on its way it is just like resolving in real time so yeah the performance is good enough so there's an issue with clerk authentication system so it is going to i think bypass the clerk authentication system just for testing so first it bypassed clerk in middleware and now it just restored that and now it is running our project on localhost so coder also has a preview window that's that's good enough and now you can see it is running it and there was an error the error is publishable key was not valid so i think that's that's related to clerk so i think it is having that clerk's publishable key issue so if i just go to dot env so in here there is new dot tech env dot local so there is the clerk publishable key so i think yeah okay it replaced clerk's publishable key because if you remember from the beginning our clerk authentication system was working so i think it for some reason replaced clerk authentication keys let me just replace that again so i have just created a new project inside clerk i'm going to copy these keys from here i'm going to go back to here and then i'm going to paste that in here save and now let's just run our project again where is that preview coder preview let me just run our project again let me just open it in a browser okay it's working fine on browser okay so on neon.tech you can see i'm inside this wipe my trace and here i got this audit logs companies all of these different tables that we just generated using neon.tech using prisma basically so here we can see all of the companies data that i already provided there now it is inside this table and all other tables are empty there are zero users there is only one piece of data that is these companies that i already provided it so i did a good job with an existing project that was intentional from me because i did not want to just like create something basic something like to-do list app or maybe a project management app so i really wanted to test the capabilities of coder ai agent with my existing project and then creating a backend for my project so i did good job but i still think that if you're choosing between coder and cursor i will still recommend you using cursor because cursor AI agent i think performs better than coder so and also the price is same so i think there is no point of switching from cursor to coder if you just want to like switch it just for the sake of pricing or just for like for the sake of performance performance wise i still think cursor is better than coder but if you are looking for an all-time favorite so my all-time favorite is still augment code i still think augment code does like way better than any of these other ai code editors if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video bye, -bye.